Nowhere can the transition from combat boots to civilian shoes be more stressful and unfamiliar than when seeking civilian employment, especially for the nearly 2.6 million 9-11 veterans who are in the process of leaving the active duty military service now or in just a few years. Joining us to talk more about the best cities to find employment are the executive director of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce Foundation Hiring Our Heroes program, Eric Eversall, and USAA's executive director for military transitions, Eric Inquist. Good Good morning, gentlemen. Uh, good morning. Good morning. So let's talk about the top cities where veterans can find employment. Surprisingly, Washington, D.C., not on this list. Go ahead, That's Eric. right. Uh, Texas and Florida both fared very well, having three cities each on the top ten. But understand that there are a variety of factors in consideration when we put the list together. We really looked at those companies that are looking to hire veterans and leverage their skills in, in jobs that they have available. We also looked at where relative uh, unemployment was lower than the national average, and uh, there was a higher than average job growth. And then we considered other factors including uh, where service members can leverage their GI Bill to be con uh, continue to be more competitive in the marketplace going back to school. So we looked at colleges and universities. And we also looked at uh, where they could continue to get health care if necessary. So v access to the VA system and, and VA clinics and hospitals were also a consideration. When we talk about veterans, what age group are we discussing here? And of course, we're also talking about women, I'm sure. Oh, absolutely, yes. and, and it really runs the range. Uh, our programs are really focused on veterans as a whole, uh, but it can run anywhere from the post-9-11 veterans or between the ages of 19 to 25 to the Vietnam era veterans uh, to, to even the Korean War veterans and World War II veterans. Uh, but we're out there trying to make sure the whole, uh, including uh, spouses, uh, are able to find meaningful employment opportunities throughout the country. That's why we're so proud to partner with USA on this best places list because it's really an invaluable resource to help service members start to plan for their life after military. Where are those places where they're going to find those great job opportunities that are really going to be meaningful for them? So tell me about we hiring. Also recognize, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. We also recognize that really the impact to uh, to service members post 9-11 is most significant. Uh, when you look at the national average, those 2.6 million post 9-11 veterans you talked about, half of them are ages 18 to 35, and they're really the ones that are over-indexing for unemployment compared to the national average. In fact, at the time that we did this study, there were two, point, uh, two percentage points higher than the national unemployment average. And so really we're looking at assisting these veterans with ensuring they don't do themselves a disservice by affording themselves enough time to have a, a concerted plan and to consider areas outside of their immediate vicinity when looking for jobs so they're not isolating themselves from the best potential job markets. Tell me what some of those jobs are that you want folks to think about, uh, to, when you want veterans to think about something a little bit different. What exactly are, what industry should they be looking into? Well, I mean, the financial sector industry that USAA is a leader in is one great uh, avenue of, of job growth uh, across the country, uh, and they have tremendous opportunities in the financial sector. We're seeing manufacturing firms where there's tremendous opportunities. Uh, there's really a broad segment of uh, private job, uh, sector jobs out there where they're out there hiring veterans every day, and service members may not necessarily think about some of these financial institutions as great employment opportunities, and I think Eric can talk about this because he was an infantry officer, and now he's at USAA uh, leading their efforts, and, and so they need to start thinking less about particular skill sets they have and think about some of the more intangible aspects of their military experience, like their leadership, their hard work, their dedication. Uh, businesses throughout America are really looking for those skills on a daily basis. Eric, did you want to add so anything a, to that from your prior experience? Certainly. <laughs> yeah, that's the value that veterans bring business. This isn't charity. And it's not the obligation to hire veterans. We hire veterans because it makes sense. And those intangibles that Eric mentioned, loyalty, duty, dedication, honesty, integrity, are invaluable for employers. And their, their civilian counterparts would emulate them and make their business smarter. So hiring veterans just makes good business sense. As we wrap up very quickly, tell me what you think this area, the Washington, D.C. metro area, can do to be on the top of this list maybe next year. 
Well, you know, I, I live here in the D.C. area, so I'll tell you that I love D.C. As a, as a community for veterans. I've served here on active duty. I've served as a reserve officer. Uh, you know, too many, uh, you know, you don't have to go to too many Nationals games or Caps games to understand how welcoming this community is to the veterans community. So if I were to give any words to the D.C. community, it's keep embracing those service members, cre keep uh, creating great job opportunities, and keep working hard at it. And, and I think that recognition will come. Thank you so much, gentlemen. And thank you for your service, and thank you for your service to our veterans. Thank you for your time. Thank you. More Let's Talk Live is coming up. Stick with us right here.